Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and this question is how comma operator work like it initializes in sequence or it executes from right to left or left to right what it does. So we'll try to solve that question here. Okay. So for that I need some data. I have two three examples. So just don't run away after watching only one example. Okay. So in order to show you that I have this v1 v2 and v1 is going to be initialized with these three and v2 is going to be initialized with this again one two three but in this bracket and after that we can just simply print them so v1 and after that v2 okay after printing we will understand what is this whole thing why this v1 will have some another value and v2 will have some another value so let's go ahead and compile this one now so this is again this g plus plus and so the answer is one and three why v1 is holding three sorry one and v2 is holding three it's because you didn't notice this like this is one statement here this is another statement this is another statement okay so this is statement executed then this statement executed then this statement executed so the result of this statement execution was initialization of 1 to v1 but here there is no result like you are going to execute this one but it's just a number right so you can just keep it like this also and to show you more like you can have something like this like 5 6 like this there is no problem writing like this so compiling for sure see there is no error in this so these all things are single statement and there is no error so there is no problem in this okay so as we was telling that one is going to get initialized into v1 and this is another statement this is another statement and the result of these two and three is nothing these are the just simple integral constants but this v2 is going to get initialized with this whole single statement and this single statement is containing three different different statements and comma operator start from left to right so this this one will execute first then this two will execute first and then three will execute first so in the same case here one will execute first two will execute first and the last whatever was executed will get assigned to this v2 that's why we are getting values like one and three okay don't just run away i have another examples which will make your doubts more clear so uh, we can use uh, functions like um, some function it is returning some values like 1 comma 2 comma 3 yes it is possible and i'll just simply print those values like c out function and let's go and compile this answer is 3 as I told comma operator executes from left to right it executed 1 2 3 the end the result whatever is assigned is the always last one so that's why you are getting 3 in this case this whole thing is one expression now even though you write it like this or not still it is one expression because return cannot return to so return will always consider whatever is there in this position as single statement and inside that statement there could be lots of statement with comma separation and the last one will be returned okay so this is how it works so if you will apply this we can check that it is working the same way so there is no need to give this bracket here because as i told return always return only single variable like integer single entity and even if you don't write this one here this whole thing is considered a single entity only but when it is going inside further it is seeing that okay there are three different statements separated with comma so it will execute this one first then this one then whatever the value it is getting after executing this one it will just return that so it is getting three it is getting return three only okay so that's how it is working so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubt please ask or if you have some another examples you can share i may include in another videos thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video